Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 6, where we are going to be using the associative property to subtract. And really, the purpose of the associative property in this lesson is to make it so that we are subtracting by a milestone number or a landmark number so that our subtraction problem becomes easier uh, than the given problem. And I think it's easiest for me to explain it to you by just showing you some examples. So let's get going. So here, the original problem says 420 minus 190. Okay. Now 190 is really close to a milestone number. It's really close to 200. That's a landmark number. So what we're going to do is I'm going to label this as 420 and 190. And our subtraction problem right here is our answer. That's our answer. But 190 is not exactly an easy number to subtract. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit easier by adding 10 to both tape diagrams here. And in doing so, I'm not changing the gap here. So our answer, the gap, is still going to be the same. But now the problem becomes 430 minus 200, which is a little bit easier problem to do compared to 420 minus 190. So 430 minus 200 gives us 230. And so that means this gap right here is 230. And it's a gap whether we're only looking at the 420 minus 9, 190 there, and it's the same gap, 230, if we're looking at the entire tape diagrams, which is 430 minus 200. So what we're doing is we're using the associative property to bump up this number to a milestone number so that it's easier to subtract. Let's try another example here. So it says draw and label a tape diagram to show how to simplify the problem. So we've got 650 minus 280. So I'm going to draw 650 minus 280. So I'm going to label this 650 I'm going to label this 280, and you can see that right here is our answer. But subtracting 280 is not an easy thing to do, so let's bump this number up to a milestone number, which would be 300. So I'm going to stick on the same amount to each, each tape diagram, and I'm going to add... 20 to each tape diagram because that changes my 280 to 300. Now my gap, which is the answer, doesn't change. So the answer is still going to stay the same, but now the problem becomes 670 minus 300, which when we subtract that, gives us 370, which means this problem, 650 minus 280, is also 370. Now for some adults, some adults might like to think of it in a slightly different way. Teachers, parents, you don't necessarily have to show this to your, your students. Um, in fact, Engage New York doesn't necessarily, doesn't say it at all. Um, but you might want to, uh, another way to think of it, for adults is to think of it as this way. Well, 280 is almost a milestone number, so if we add 20 to both numbers, we end up getting 670 minus 300. So this answer is 370, so this answer is 370. That's another way that we could show how to use the associative property to subtract. And again, we're going to keep drawing uh, labeling type diagrams to get this, uh, only this time 
we're also going to check our work using addition. And again, remember teachers and parents, this is not the standard algorithm yet. Uh, we are going to be teaching the standard algorithm, but right now we want to teach in a method some developmental milestones. See the dots going doom, 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 doom. Those are the developmental milestones that are going to lead to the standard algorithm so that when the students are finally learning the standard algorithm, it'll make sense rather than just being some arbitrary rule. So let's start. by drawing 442 and 298. So there's 442, 298, and this right here is our answer. That's our gap. And we're not going to change the gap, but we are going to make the problem a little bit simpler. And we're going to add to both numbers. What are we going to add? Well, we want to make this number a milestone number, which means we're going to add 2. And we're going to add 2. So that makes the problem 444 minus 300, which is equal to 144. Now, how are we going to check? So our gap right here is 144. So how are we going to check? Well, the way we check is we take our answer, which is a part, and this, which is a part, and we add our parts together to see if we get our whole. So to check, we're going to do 300 plus 144, and do we get 444 as our answer? And sure enough, we do because 300 plus 100 is equal to 400 plus our 44. So there's our 444. So we've checked it using addition. And our last problem for this video, we have 718 minus 390. So we're going to draw our tape diagram. Here's 718. And there's 390. And right here, there is our gap. So that is the answer. But subtracting by 390 is a little tricky, so let's bump it up to the next milestone number. So what's the next milestone number? It's going to be 400, which means we need to add 10 to each of these numbers. So in doing that, we changed the problem, but we, we did not change the gap at all. So the problem becomes 728 minus 400. And 700 minus 400 is 300. So our answer is 328. So now we need to check using addition, so we're going to add 328 plus 400, and do we get 728? Is that our answer when we add? And sure enough, when we add 300 plus 400, that gives us 700, plus the 28 is 728. So sure enough, we've done our subtraction correctly. And that wraps up lesson six, where I'm going to show you one last, as an adult, as teachers, <laughs> um, one last idea uh, mention. If we're going to subtract 520 minus 198, an alternate way for you to show your students, if they don't like that tape diagram system, is to recognize that this guy's pretty close to a milestone, uh, so let's bump him up so that he is a milestone, which means we have to bump this guy up as well. So that becomes 522 minus 200. And now 522 minus 200 is much easier to subtract than 520 minus 198. So when we subtract, 
we end up, in this case, we end up with 322, which means this answer is also 322. So that's kind of an alternate way to show what's going on if you're uh, struggling with the tape diagram.